Hey, how's going everyone? Welcome back to our 3D Asymmetric Garage tutorial series. In today's video, we are going to create a fire simulation animation and a camera movement. We start with creating some log objects and put them into the oil barrel. Create a cylinder, adjust the size and rotate it. Then move it into the oil barrel. Duplicate a couple of more and use Ctrl J to join them into one object. Use side view to put the logs into the barrel. Why have the logs selected? Go to object menu, quick effects, select the quick smoke. We can see a 3D frame is created outside of the logs. That's a quick effect domain. Go to the physics tab, change the flow type to fire, adjust a few value to 3 and the surface emission value to 0.1. Then select the domain object, change the resolution division value to 64 and the time scale value to 0.5, change the CFL number to 4, time step maximum value to 2 and leave other setting as it is. Then click the play button on the timeline. We can see the fire is started in the barrel. The fire looks too strong. Let's go to the settings and change the fuel value to 2. Replay from the timeline. The fire simulation looks much better now. Select the fire domain object. Go to the material tab. Select the material. Then enter the shader editor. Add an attribute node and enter flame as a name. Add a color ramp node, connect the attribute node to the color ramp node, then connect the color ramp node color output to the principal volume node emission color input. Adjust the color ramp node color as a fire flame color, then change the emission strength value to 300. Click the play button to preview the fire effect. Then make some adjustment in the color ramp node to make the fire looks more realistic. Go back to frame 1 and play the animation again to see the result. Now, let's rearrange the workspace to get ready for creating the flashing and the flickering effect for the neon light. We set the top window in render premium mode and set the middle window to timeline and set the bottom window to the graph editor. The way to create a flickering effect on the neon light is to let the neon light emission strengths change frequently and randomly along the timeline. Go back to frame 1, insert the keyframe on the neon line emission strength value, which is 20 at the moment. Then, go to graph editor, find the horizontal red line. This line represents the emission value. To make the value change frequently and randomly, we can add a noise modifier on the value. Then, adjust the noise strength to 30 and the scale to 3. We can see now, the emission strength of the neon light will spike to around 35 and drop to around 5 along the timeline.
play the animation, we can see the neon light is flickering in the render preview mode. Next, we want to make the camera rotate around the scenes. First, let's review the output setting. Set the frame rate to 25 frames per second and keep the frame start value as 1 and the end value as 250, which means the output animation will be 10 seconds long. Create a plane axis. Display as sphere, then select the camera first, then select the plane axis while holding the shift key, press Ctrl P to link the objects. So now, when the plane axis moves, the camera will move. When the plane axis rotate, the camera will rotate as well. Select the plane axis, go back to frame 1, and press I key to insert the keyframe. Then, go to frame 125, which is the middle frame for the whole animation. Press R, Z20 to rotate the plane axis around the Z axis for 20 degrees. Then, press I key again to create another keyframe for the plane axis. Go to the last frame, press R, Z20 to rotate the plane axis around the z-axis for negative 20 degrees. Then press I key to create another keyframe. Now go back to frame 1 and click the play button. We can see the final result. The camera is rotating around the scene. The fire is started in the barrel while the neon log is flickering on the wall if we switch to the render preview mode. Thank you so much for joining me throughout this tutorial series. I hope you find each video helpful and that you are feeling more confident in Blender modeling, shading and animating. Follow me on Instagram for more inspirations and tutorials. A huge shout out to NVIDIA Studio for supporting this tutorial series. Happy learning everyone!